Hey there, I'm out at a new charging option here in British Columbia. It's from Chevron. It's at the Ongo station. So uh, last year in 2022, they had announced that they were going to be putting in 25 charging locations from Vancouver Island to Calgary. And on December 2nd, they've increased that to 50 charging locations. So currently, they're not charging for it. All you need to do is download the app. That's um, the Journey app. It's on both Google and Apple. I'll put a link down in the description. But what, all you need to do is download that app and create an account. And then you can go ahead up until May 31st, 2023. Go ahead and charge at these locations for free. It's Chatamo and then the CCS. So for all the cars out there um, that are not Tesla, you should be able to charge no problem. If you are a current owner of a Tesla and it's CCS enabled, you just have to pick up one of these uh, charger adapters, either from Tesla or Hancho. Hancho has the best deal right now. You can get it uh, uh, at a discount. Um, using my code. So down in the description, you'll see a link. Use my discount code, Beastly Tesla Guy, and charge yourself up, up until the end of May, and it will offset the cost of this. Now, there are a total of 10 uh, charging locations in the Lower Mainland right now. There's two, one in Abbotsford and one in Langley. This is the one I'm at at 232nd and Highway 1. And then Chilliwack has three. So that's the lower mainland area. They do have chargers going from here to Calgary. So you've got one at Merritt, one at Revelstoke. Um, there's one more at Golden, I believe that's the location, and then in Calgary. So you could virtually drive from Vancouver to Calgary for free, as long as you are capable of driving a minimum of 300 kilometers because the longest stretch that there is right now is from Merritt to Revelstoke, which is just under 300 kilometers. But um, yeah, you just need one of these. I'm gonna go out there, plug in, start the charge. Again, you just have to use the app. It's the Journey app. And you just launch the, uh, pick which one you're gonna start at. And then uh, we'll go ahead and see where this uh, plays out. So anyway, I'm gonna go out there and it's raining out, so I'm not going to bring my camera out there, but let's go ahead and take, uh, get it started, and then I'll come back and uh, explain some of the other benefits to this. Okay, so what are we charging at? We're charging at 123 kilowatts right now. Uh, pretty good. Um, showing that on the screen as well. So I'm just going to do a walk around at the charger, show you what it looks like. And then uh, I'll come back in and discuss some information about this charger. Okay, so you can see right now that the um, they haven't put in any pavement here. So, uh, so it's not really done yet, but there's one over there as well. So they'll finish these up. What's nice is we've got uh, wiper, uh, so you can clean your windows. We've got a garbage can right here. By the way, so you can see from the screen right here, uh, what I wanted to point out was right here is the name. So when you go in the app, it, it actually had OTR 00-19 and, and 20. I didn't know which one it was, so I just picked 20 just by uh, random. And then I did see this. So just to be aware, that's what you're looking for right there at the top. And then down here, it's showing that I'm getting 126 kilowatts, which is pretty good. I'll have to go and look at the amps. But uh, so down here, it's flashing green, so it's charging. I thought I had heard that as the charge goes up, you'll see this, but it just stays red, it looks like. Um, if you need to download the app, here's the uh, QR code. So just scan this QR code. I'll also have links in the description. But right now, it's free. So go on and get out there. So you can see right here, and you can see that it's by FreeWire. On the run, we'll get the uh, ginger in the picture here. That looks pretty good. 
And then uh, that part that I was showing earlier, which just in case I didn't get it, is right there. So that's the um, the plate on the charger, so it's showing that it's capable of 150 and new manufactured, so it meets all the criteria. Again, we've got a we've got another garbage can right here and freeway. So there it is right here. We're just off the highway one at two thirty second. So there's four possible charging. Uh, cables here I think it's three CCS one Chatamo so we'll go ahead and take a look at the other one so yeah see there at the bottom one's Chatamo 100 kilowatt and 150 kilowatt hour so I'm not sure if this I'm not sure if this is related to my car but it's showing that uh, there's some green here now we'll just watch my car and see if this goes up but it seems to be on the wrong side because over here this is red so I think that they somehow messed up the wiring on this because I'm plugged in onto the one side and it looks like it's actually telling me the cable over here is the one that's actually being done but anyway we'll take a look at that and we're sitting at 131 kilowatts that's pretty good okay so um as I mentioned, and it looks like they have it uh, backwards here, but on the side of the charger, there's a red light that says that it's not being used. And then there's a green with a bar. And it looks like on mine here, it's on, it's, it's actually doing the wrong side. A couple things I wanted to go over was, again, charging is free right now, which is pretty good. 37%. That's probably the max. I'll see if my amps voltages are going down so well it looks like my volts are still going up i think it goes up to 380 or something so we might actually hit 150 kilowatts but anyway so a couple things about these uh just like the chargers at ev go that have just been the new version you can actually charge two car cars at the same time off the the one pedestal so like bc hydro has a CCS adapter and a Chatamo, only one of those can be used at one given time. These ones here, they're capable of charging uh, two cars at the same time. Now, I don't know if it lowers the amperage. We'll have to ch test that in a future video, but I'm really happy with it right now. I'm getting 130 kilowatts to the battery right now. And uh, I've added 21 kilowatts so far. I'm going to be charging it up to 90%. It, it's been a while since I've gone up to 90%. Again, with their, they have a commitment to put these chargers across Canada. And this is a pilot right now. I, I think it's a pilot within British Columbia and Alberta. And if you go onto their website, again, I'll put a uh, link in the description. You can see where the existing chargers are currently. And then you can also see where the projected new chargers are going to be put. So there's kind of like a loop that you can drive now going from Vancouver uh, up to Kamloops and then up to Prince George and back. And then you can go from Kamloops over to Calgary on Highway 1. And then you can take the lower highway, so go south of Calgary and then back through uh, Cranbrook, Castlegar, uh, Soyuz, and then stopping at Princeton to get a, another charge. So there's a couple spots there that are pretty long. I didn't look at the uh, length doing the southern route, but I know going from Vancouver to Calgary, the longest stretch is from Merritt to Revelstoke. So that's like 300 kilometers. So that's that's quite a, quite a distance. Uh, but if your car is capable of it, then you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, the standard range will will be it'll be a touch and go. You I mean you could stop always stop in Kamloops to get a you know top up at a supercharger. You'll have to pay for that. I'm just looking at can you go from here to Calgary for free and you know with the long range and the EV6. My buddy has an EV6. Shout out to Donovan. Uh, he's the one that let me know about the um, these chargers. He's got the Kia EV6. It's an amazing car. I love it. If I was out shopping for a car right now, um, 
cost, value, car, everything, the EV6 is the way to go. Now, that's just because the Model Y is well over $80,000, and you can get the EV6 GT Level 1 here in Canada. Qualify, it qualifies for the uh, federal and provincial rebates, so that's $8,000. So that's a huge chunk where Tesla doesn't. So I think it's around 55000 for that right now. So it's, it's a huge difference. Um, value wise, it's, it's a pretty good deal. So if I were out shopping right now and I wanted to get an EV, uh, I would be looking at the EV, uh, six from Kia. And there's also the Ionic five, which both use the same stuff. So just depending on which one you, you would like, but you know, I've got the Tesla and I'm really happy with Tesla. So, so where are we now? So we're sitting at. 49%, uh, we're still pumping out 112 kilowatt hours. Yeah, so let's see the current's down to 290. So it's starting to go down. It'll start slowing down on it here. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with this. Um, again, you can save a lot of money if you have a adapter for your Tesla or if you're driving a, a non-Tesla that has CCS capability already, you know, Go to that link and find out where these free charges are. If you're really fortunate, you might find one that's on the way uh, to work or near your home, and you could save quite a bit of money. Over, you know, it's we're looking at like five months. If you could save 40, 50 bucks a month, we've been at it for about 20 minutes now, and uh, we've gone from about 15 percent to 55 percent. I'm in no rush today, so I'm just gonna charge it up to 90. So a couple of things that are pretty cool about these chargers, they are dual capable. So they have two cables coming off of them and you can charge at both those cables at the same time. So it's very similar to the new chargers that are at EVgo down in the States, but all BC Hydro chargers, something uh, no one tells you when you get your first EV that you if someone's plugged into that charger, you've got to wait till they leave so that you can now plug in. It's basically one charger with two cables so that they can support the old technology, which is Chatamo, as well as the new technology, the CCS adapter. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go out and take a look at uh, something here that, that uh, I found quite interesting, and I'll be right back. So, yeah, you can see right there as I'm charging, it's actually getting fruit further up with the green so they've got this light on the wrong side because if you come over here it shows that this charger is available but that's not my amount and then coming down here you can see that I have charged I'm up to 76 percent right now in about 28 minutes and I've added 50 kilowatt hours so if I was paying for this at home it's about 15 cents a kilowatt that works out to about seven dollars and fifty cents so that's pretty good you can see down there they're both rated for 150 i just don't know if they'll both pull 150 at the same time okay so we've been charging around 30 minutes and i'm now sitting at 80 percent so if you found this video useful like this video Subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you'll be notified when I release new videos. So Chevron on the run uh, gas stations. I'm really hoping that they'll put these EV chargers at all the Chevron stations in the future because there's a lot of e Chevron stations. And so this pilot, I hope, is very successful. And then once again, um, currently it's free till May 31st. 2023 and I believe the CEO had made a statement at one point saying that they will remain free until Measurements Canada starts to charge by the kilowatt. So if that's the case, it could be longer than May 31st, but if they switch over sooner, then we could see the free ride go away. Thanks for watching.